Okay. So Susan is like right there with you. Listen, Susan, I don't I don't wanna screw up again. I what's going on? What am I I don't There's a There's a thing our family has where creatures from very long ago they made a deal with our ancestors and ever since then their children have had fairies inside of them but some people call them demons and that's not really fair like, they're not human they they generally have appetites that are inimical to humans, but we are stronger than them, and so you can be stronger than yours too, Thomas. You could use it to get whatever you want. Oh, but so. Why did we hunt down the Black Court Vampire's family? Uh, she's like, um, the Black Court Vampires sought to rule humanity, but they're, they feed much faster than any other kind of creature. Um, and they feed by mostly killing humans. Like, there, there were not enough humans then to support maybe more than 20 or 30. Now there's more vampires. There's more, there's more humans, and there's less black horde vampires. But still, there's maybe only enough for like a thousand black horde vampires. And the black horde vampires reproduce incredibly quickly. All I have to do is drink your blood, and you could become one of them. They had to be put down. And so I unleashed a epidemic yes. to the city. Yes, but it's unlikely that he will cause problems here. But there are places he could go that we would not find him in time. Hmm. Uh, okay. It's like, Thomas, so, it's like a, this feeling of helplessness you have, you know, we, it can be solved very easily, if you trust me. How? You have to make your first call. They'll awaken wow. your demon. And then I can help you to master it. But, but kill someone like Yes, Thomas. There's no other way? Like No. Without it your demon will always be asleep. That. Hmm. She's like, I understand your like your feelings of helplessness and always making mistakes. But if you had someone with you to help you make those decisions. You would feel so much better. I understand. Uh <sighs> I can't do it right now, though. But so, Thomas, you don't have long. When the the other vampires at your school are beginning to give in to their hunger, and the 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 people running 
the school. They don't care if they kill each other. They only care if they're strong. You're going to have to kill someone sooner or later. It might as well be sooner. If I do agree to this, who would you... Sorry, you cut off there. If I do agree to this, who would you have me kill? <laughs> Cynthia. <doesn't> matter. <laughs> yes, Cynthia would totally do that willingly. I would bring somebody For sure. to you. I mean, she's under kind of a, an aspect to work with that. I'll find somebody if you don't want to make the choice. She's in the aspect to get someone to kill, like, to get, make Thomas a real vampire, not be the one he kills. Eh, tomorrow, tomorrow. Can, I mean, can it, can I make, it just as easily force you to do it and still fulfill it. Can I talk it over with my friends? If you have to, but... Give, no. give me, give me a week, I'll have my decision by then. Alright, Thomas. But don't tell anybody that you know what you are. If if you tell anybody outside of our family, they may kill you just because you're a threat. I understand. Alright, so be careful. And she'll, like, I guess she, like, calls to have someone bring a car. <laughs> so, uh, I, after that, I guess I took a cab to Axel's apartment, unless we're super close, and I walk. I mean, like, you, if you left with Janice, you could have gone and found the van. Uh, True, but so I assume Janice would take it. A luck roll to see how far away you guys actually ended up. Uh, one. All right, so you're still in, you're still in California. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if you were in another state. If you had rolled negative, you might have been in another country. That would have been awesome. Um, um, no fucking clue how to get out. I don't want yeah. passport or shit. I mean, I guess I could have taken the never never. It's like um, an hour me. drive. That's fine. Back I'll take San a cab. Fran. You're you're in like the um. I'm like fucking. What's that valley? You're like in Silicon Valley or something. Yeah, I'm like, okay. But yeah, I'm gonna... I took a long-ass cab or a bus or something. Sure. Um, And I utter the word so it doesn't, like, the glass shatter doesn't do the thing. Um, okay. Open the door and the deadbolt pops. Yeah, so yeah there's guess... a new deadbolt now, or a new, like, chain thing that, like, wasn't yeah, there so before. Yeah, I guess I'm like... Oh, well, I guess it's such a, so far away. You probably have all taken the bus together, so I think Thomas is there too. Unless Thomas, I would have very much wanted to be alone. I would have taken right. like a separate thing. Yeah, I think Thomas just. Um... It's like you guys come up to the bus stop. You each get in separate buses, or Thomas gets a private car or something because he's fucking he... rich. That's true. Yeah, she like... called him a. She called him a luxury vehicle. Yeah. So yeah. I just um, hello. This was oh, not. Oh, like I walk up. Was like I uh, uh uh I got extra security added. Yeah, and I like open the door. Not a bad idea. Thank you for allowing us to talk. Sure. Um. So yeah, she like, like you come in like the couches. In... Like the yeah, couches she... moved. It's like in a different place, but it's still there. <laughs> okay. Um. Do you have, like a dining table or something because it feels like it's I, more of a I imagine I have like a, a bar area like so she sits kitchen, on the bar kitchen yeah. yeah like there's a bar that connected kitchen. there's not like a dining this doesn't seem place. like a sit on lounge chat this is more like a sit up straight and um, okay so yeah she she sits at the bar area um as you sit next to her stand whatever yeah um, I like stand on the opposite side of the bar or whatever <laughs> like across from you I feel like I have to defend myself, I suppose. Like, I'm waiting? There's only really 
words can do so much, and you'll have those too. But really, there's the. I I just will you please soul gaze with me. It is the best defense I can offer. Hmm. I mean, I might. I guess my character like very. Unwillingly, I guess we'll soul gaze with you. Eventually, Yay! like takes a while. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm just like so, this is the best way for me to explain myself. Okay, so you see this guy that's like barely bones. Like his skin is so thin. His you see his bones popping out of him, and like you see far in the background, like a dragon standing over him, like just like with claws, like leeching into his back, and him like yeah. bleeding into the background. Awesome. Um, do I get any sense of, like, type of person you are or anything like that? Or is that, like, a very, like... Uh, like, I'm very, like, a very gray person. I'm not, like, one way or another. I'm, like... Very chaotic neutral. I'm very, I'm very blind by my past at this point in time. Okay. So, like, a ghost, um, almost? Like, he's not actually yeah. a person yet? Yeah. So, <laughs> you see almost, like a, like, a similar thing? She she's standing up a lot straighter, a lot more like proud, I suppose now maybe than what she would have been earlier today. Um, and it's you see her from like the same angle I saw you essentially, except you see. Um, <laughs> could you describe Isis's hand for me, like jewelry rise and such? Do you like have any idea for that, or do you want me to do it? Give me a second. Um, but I see you being very much more proud of this. Yes. Yeah, very proud, very much more in control, less um less like I've been thrown in like the deep end as a kid and more like I'm I'm now trying to act lifeguard, whether I can or not is to be determined. Um but you see Isis's hand on one shoulder and you see the like shadowy talon of like um of Cassandra like on my head just kind of like resting. Um, less like siphoning the life energy like it is for you, and much more like this is a part of me that I've accepted. Um, the tears are still there, and you see, uh, the cross on my neck is also like those are like the three symbols in my life: Isis's power, Cassandra's is Cassandra's sight, and um, essentially my father's guidance. That's kind of how that like. The three things that kind of rule what she does. Well, Isis's um, hand is like pretty much unadorned. She just has like this um wristband. It's almost like so, a sweatband that you would wear if you're a jogger. Okay, so yeah, you see a um like a very like, like almost delicate, beautiful hand just kind of like resting on her shoulder. You don't see who it belongs to, just like her arm. But I mean, I you see this as a thing to be proud of, and like. It's as a, a sign of like me, that I feel like yeah, I and I see it as a thing of like horror. It's like something the three things will sway over who I am and stuff. Yeah, we have a very different interpretation of how we perceive the same thing. Yeah. Well, so far none of them have commanded me. I've felt them much more as guides, as like beacons. You've been controlled. I feel like I'm being led, or at least like difference? partnered. Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> Except I'm not. I understand what they want me to do. I just agree with it 80% of the time. Jail still is jail, even if you want to be in it. <laughs> I mean, then it's not a jail, it's a home. Uh, well, semantics. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah okay. that's kind of what you see. Um, you don't get much, you don't get nearly as much as like the tossed in the river, like pain stuff. But you get, like, the sentiment attached to the cross. Like, you know she's not religious, so you have no clue why the fuck that's important, really. So you might want to ask if you want to. But it's very much like, um, afterwards, she's just kind of, um... I'm dealing with things I don't necessarily, um... I've Gods gone... are not meant to walk this world. Then why are they here? Gods are meant to be on another plane of existence, not ours. There's enough here to... I think that's... I don't think that's our call, if I'm honest. I have been given much more power than I ever thought I would have. 
much more control than I ever thought I would have. I'm... I came here scared and alone. All I had were my visions that led me here, to Janice, to you. Now I can lead the, the visions, more or less. At least try. I have been given power granted by Isis, a goddess of time and magic. I have been given power by Cassandra, a deity of great pain and sorrow and madness, apparently. But all the more, just a gift. <laughs> Even my father. I don't, I don't see anything given by Cassandra as being a gift. I have the gift to determine my own destiny. Determine... I've never been... I've never been free my entire life of someone else's pull. For once, I am in some form of control. Which, I mean, is kind of ironic. Like, stepping <laughs> back. It's like, double side. She's both in like the most control she's ever been and the most tied down. Which is, I think, a good like dichotomy going on. Yeah. Um, You're. We have a very different idea of what freedom means. But what like, does freedom mean to you? You you have many ties to those. You have many ties to those that control you. But they, those ties are my own choosing for mutual benefit. For now, and they do not okay. control me. Not yet, anyways. The dragon you disagree looms on that over point. You. The, the dragon looms over you. Its claws ever present, its pain, its eyes ever reaching. It commanded you. It controlled you. It forced you, as much as I can tell. I made these choices by my own will. Maybe not as much for Cassandra, but I've made peace with it, especially now. Isis was completely of my own cho choice. She has granted me power. I wish to repay her. And she has granted me with more for, for this. If my, my father has done nothing, if my father has done nothing else, he has given me a beacon. He has given me some semblance of strength in this world when I had none. He gave me a way to escape, even if he didn't mean to. Actually, he might have, in a different way, but... I don't think this is exactly what he had in mind, but I think he would be okay with it. You've made your bid, now you have to sleep in it, for better or for worse. And I plan to. This is... I am not fumbling around, as you may think. I am not scared. I chose this. I chose to free her because I felt like it was a good thing to do, as you did with the vampire. I felt like it would help that me. That I did for Thomas. I did not do it for the vampire. Why you... Who you did it for matters little. You did it. As I did this... We can exchange why we did what we did, but we both did things we do not agree with that are more or less very similar actions. You freed a monster that will kill and kill and multiply, and then continue to kill. I freed a patron god of mine, a woman that has wa a, a deity that has watched over me since my birth, that has led me, that may hurt others, yes. But at least, I, the demon you know is better than the demon you do not. The, I, hmm. Dragons do not have a good impact upon this world. 
that is new information. And apparently, I am her daughter. Maybe not literally, but... Regardless, their blood flows through me. Axel, give me a, uh, a lore check. Okay. Negative one. I tell you nothing. Okay, give me a second. I'm not. Can I like use an aspect or? Uh, Do I get the same more check or is it just him? One. By the way, it's just him. Yep. It would have been higher than one. Um, you with two fate points help. Yeah, sure. Okay. Tell me what aspects. Um, yeah, I gotta look first. Um, Something about your past with the dragons. Yeah, so I was gonna use running for my past for one of them. Um, and I guess, I guess I follow those with authority too, just because sure. like, that's who I felt like followed or I used to follow. <laughs> I am kind of like trying to like enforce some like semblance of authority, maybe not on you, but like my presence has become that a little bit. Just so, <sighs> just to give you like a little, like I'm you, very like confident in what I'm doing. You represent my past in some way now because you represent the will of the dragon. So in some you're in a very way, yeah. you're in a very interesting position yes you do <laughs> represent a position of authority you didn't have a and name up to this point name. I followed you decently well I actually didn't have a name for his dragon no I didn't I had so I went with no. Umbrex. okay um, can, uh, can you type that somewhere so I yeah. can make a note of that I'm awful at names okay got it it means uh the he who eats gold. Okay. And you know that, um, like, there were some rumors that he may have been breeding with his slaves. But you know that he was definitely breeding people with magical talent. Because he likes eating wizards better than anything else. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's like, okay, makes sense. So, I mean, it's like, I've... Uh, I know you like, do not like... Okay. I mean, I disagree with your decision. I, uh, if it was in my ability to stop you, I would have stopped you. I know. At this, at this point, it's too, too late. But you understand why I had to do it. At the very least. I understand why you think you had to do it. I was not forced to do it, yes. I was not forced like you were. I chose this. Do you get the difference? One authority is the one that you is placed over you. The other is that you choose. Choice, in some cases, is just a mere illusion. You will come to see. What? You're what just illusion? stepping into the pool. Really? I have lived with... I have lived with Cassandra more than... About as long as you... What was that dragon, actually? Let's go with that. You know my demon. I know his name. It's like... I was more or less raised by... Eh, we'll go with that. I was more or less raised by him. I see. Similar situation to um, myself with Cassandra. Maybe in a less direct way. And she got what she wanted out of you. Sh sure. But I agreed to it. Like, she I, like I like she did I'm like befuddled on like how you don't understand like she manipulated you into this and I like I can't I can't convey that to you. What do you think would have done to me without her? What what do you think would have happened? Do you do you know where I'm from actually? Have we talked about that? Like because I don't remember that we have. I, I don't I've, know out of care. We want to like make a role to see if you can convince Cynthia that she was manipulated into releasing Cassandra. I, I will try, but I doubt I will succeed. All right, I'll, I'll go in very different rants depending on how this goes. Okay, let's let's take a look. Like, what what kind of skill would that be? Rapport, I assume. Could be rapport. Could you? 
being like communicating positively. Um, could be. I don't have any other. It's not going to matter. I don't have anything plus zero. So I'm at a zero. All right. Uh, give me a report check back, Cynthia. Chat one second. Unless you do awful. Yeah. Up, yep. I mean, like. It doesn't really fit. So. so, yeah, I'm like. I was. I'm from the time of the Salem witch trials. Do you know what those are? Uh, probably not. Like, my history is not the best. Right. Especially American history. Like, Let me briefly no. explain this then. There was a town called Salem, where I lived, where I grew up. <laughs> a bunch of girls, they, they decided that... <laughs> this is a time where Christianity, where religion was much more prevalent than it is now. Please understand this. They thought that it would be a good idea to accuse others that they didn't like of being witches. Obviously, this caused fear. <laughs> being as I actually am a magical practitioner, and someone that suffered from seizures due to my visions daily at that time, of random things, just <laughs> non-important things... But the fact that, that that was seen as a sign of demonic possession, you can just understand the position that put me in. They burned those women, the, the ones accused, at the stake, or threw them tied to rocks into the river to drown. If they drowned, they were human. If they floated, they were witches. <laughs> My father gave me this when he threw me into the river. It was his duty to do so. My mother was the one that wanted them to do it above all others. She cheered as I was thrown in. When I entered, time stopped, and I... I wound up here. Now. By Isis's guiding hand. She led me here. And my visions have led me even closer to where I am currently. To you. To this city. I've been here for two years and I've learned so much. I am nobody's... I am not a pawn, as you so think. I may be affiliated with them, but I am as much a power as they are at this point. Maybe not as physically, or maybe not as much power... Maybe not. I could not fight Isis. I could not fight Cassandra. But in this world, and for now, I am not something to be trifled with. I hold sway over my destiny and the destiny of others. I was not manipulated. We made a deal. Two ways. One that I decided the terms on. Whereas you, in your family of dragons, you were raised and indoctrinated and were told what to do and forced to do it, otherwise you were punished. Did I get that wrong? There are many ways to indoctrinate someone. By the sword or the or the sword or the guiding hand. They nur nurture you or they punish you. Either or. I am given Isis knows what she wants and she tells me. Cassandra knows what she wants and she makes me see it. I choose whether I wish to follow it or not. If they really wish me to do something, and I have made a deal for them, with them, they have every right to force me to do it, because I made that deal. Until such a point where that is no longer true. That is actually only for Isis. Cassandra can force me to do nothing. She can show me what she wants, but nothing more. Isis and I have an agreement. 
Cassandra lets you see just exactly as much as she wants you to. So that you make the decision she wants you to. Except no longer. I am much more in control of my visions than I ever was. What I do with them. What what I see specifically. She shows me what she wants to see. I interpret it. I do with it what I want. I can make it go against her as easily as I want to help her. I freed her because I knew what it would do for me and for us. I also felt a bit indebted to her, but that it is neither here nor there. It feels like at this point we are not going to agree on what these beings are doing for you. I cannot stop you. And I'm not no. going to. It is your right to do as you wish. At you this guys, point, I don't know if you could if you tried. Do you guys want to like leave it as like a conversation of roleplay? Or would you like to turn this into social combat? I mean... Like I, I don't understand I, what you could possibly say to convince her otherwise. Yeah, I mean, like that's what we're kind of both in. We're like both. You have your opinion. Good for you. I have mine. We're we're like in a standoff. Like as you're players, done. Like, are like, are you happy with the standoff? Or yeah, you currently, to yeah, I'm very okay with this. Yeah, like if you if you point, have like an ace up your sleeve, like conversation piece wise. No, no, I'm like out of things. Like this is where I'm at. This is what I think. Like I'm done. I've laid everything out. I have. So, last thing before we de- uh, before I decide I'm currently whether I... we actually leave it up yeah. to the system to see if you're convinced. So, before we decide whether we want to leave it up to the system or roleplay, I think she would just want more, um... More of a specific idea of what you, like, what you were with the dragon. To get more of a sense like, of, like... You get vague coming. answers. You don't ever get, like, a specific answer of, like, what I went through. Like, if you ask for a specific question, I'm going to give you very vague answers. Okay. Um, do you want to do social combat? If I fail, I'll concede that I might have been manipulated, but it doesn't, like, doesn't change much currently. But I yeah, may I mean, have been... Because right now, she's like, I manipulated them, kind of. Like, fuck that. Um, and so I understand. So, I mean, it's like... Mm. So if like if we do the social combat, you tell me more about what you what happened to you, or I'll concede that I was manipulated. Those are my terms. I guess I can live with that. Okay, cool. Why don't you guys um uh, go and clear off your fresh your stress tracks? Yep, did I it. say that like yep, both clear. of you are like you've had this conversation, and then you guys like think for a few minutes and. We, you guys have like tea or something. I don't know. I'm Sandra sure I have something to Sandra. drink in the. <laughs> Cynthia would make tea. Are you guys like coffee people? I don't know. Cynthia's definitely a tea person. All right, that's fine. Like, I probably have tea in the apartment. Like, yeah. Okay. She had brought some eventually. She's been living here for like so, a couple days now. I go over the combat actions just in case you weren't completely familiar with them. You can make a, an attack. Um, attack will damage the other person's stress track. Yep. Um, you can make a defense, which is automatic. You never make an actual defense unless you want to go, go full defense, which gives you plus two to any defense rolls. It's mostly good for like, if there's like several people attacking you at once. Mm, yep. Okay. And then you can make a block action, in which case you can actually make a roll to block the other person's action, like it subtracts from their action, and then you still get your defense roll on top of that. So, like Cynthia's going uh, pretty so it subtracts from their attack and gives you your defense. Right. And then there's okay. maneuvers. And the strategy with maneuvers is like, let's say somebody is just has a really good defense roll. Um, you can use your um maneuver to get your dice higher. And eventually, you can hope to like one shot them. Mm, okay. So like, let's say like you you're rolling and you're only rolling like 
Is there, you're like matching their roll every time. You can yep. do maneuvers to buff yourself until you're ready to make your attack and hopefully one shot them. All right, let's go with this. I'm gonna I'm gonna open up with an attack, like just straight up. Like, okay. Okay. I know more about this than you. I know more entities than you. I've lived with this longer. Okay. Like, how, what do I roll for defense after, on his attack? Well, what are you guys? And what do I? Roll? You guys can attack like different things. Like one of you guys could attack an argument with like making a mental attack. Um, I don't think I'm straight up attacking like. I'm straight up attacking just like your logic, like just like, how okay, you so like, like defining this to yourself. Like I'm being manipulated. No, like if anyone was manipulated, yes, you were. That's you based off your weakness, not mine. Yeah. Okay. I mean, like my attack will be based off. I know what I know. I understand dragons so much better than you do. Like you just understood that who you thought was a god is now a dragon, which overlap. Okay. Just checking and I admit I was manipulated. Well, I don't know if I admit that to you. But you were. I you, not me. You have done this that. because of your stupidity, not me. Yeah. That's we'll kind see. of her thing. We'll find out. I thought this is going to be a social conflict. Okay. okay. Also, like, keep in mind, like, um, you're going to bring in each other's, like, reputations and stuff into this. Um, um, is reputation a skill? No, it's just like uh, something you have. Okay. So what do I roll? Um, so you're trying to. Let me just make sure it's one last time. You may use deceit, intimidation, or rapport to attack. Those are all. I have all those except intimidation. They're all the same level. So fuck it. Okay. So so rapport, intimidation, and what? Deceit. Yes. Okay. I am rolling intimidation. Three. Oh, God damn it! All right. Well, these are your attacks. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So Axel, you make zero. So there's yep. not really any point to roll to see if you the defense for that. Correct. Um, Cynthia is making an attack with intimidate with a what? Rapport currently. Rapport. Shit up logic. Um, I'm not lying. Okay, so Axel should roll rapport. Hmm. All right, so Axel will take three social stress. Okay, so like, uh, I guess I'm going to use one fight point on that to bump that to a two. So I only take one. Yeah. Okay. All right, so now it's our next round. Yeah. I'll make your attacks again. Or you can straight attack again. Like, she's just hammering away at your, like, <laughs> logic center. God damn it, um, my skills are off. Throw your report in. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a fate point to bump that up to a three. Okay. Um, we'll wait until we see what Axel rolls. Yep. Okay, I got a three on my report. Yeah. So now, oh, if you okay. go up to a three, you won't do any damage. Okay, then fine. Ignore it. Um, all right. So you finally like walked an argument. So I'm gonna move into a maneuver then. Two. So how does a maneuver work exactly? I didn't think you like rolled for a maneuver. You do. Hi, Kel. So we're playing Burning Wheel. Essentially, we're doing Battle of Wits. Oh my. Um. Yeah. So. Uh, Axel and I had a very long conversation about whether I was manipulated or not of a by like uh, Cassandra and Isis. I'm like, no. If anyone's manipulating, I'm manipulating them. We made a deal. That's better for me than for them. I'm a person. They're a god. Me having power from them means more to me than them. Um, and all so, right. Uh, and I'm essentially the um the like bet is that if I win, he has to explain like his relationship with the dragon and what all that shit was about. And if he wins, mm -hmm. I will concede that I was manipulated. Even if, like, I don't care, I still have to be like, yes, I was. But it, you know. Mm. <laughs> All right. So uh, also, he stole these. So why? Did so Cynthia how does his maneuver? Him? She's oh, doing a maneuver. maneuver. Oh, okay. I thought I was supposed to roll. I'm sorry. Yeah, so why does she roll for a maneuver? 
if you want to do a maneuver, uh, you say, are you putting the maneuver on yourself or somebody else? And what um, that maneuver I'm gonna, is. I'm going to put it on them. You're putting it on um, The maneuver is essentially, I'm backing you into a corner where you're like, I'm asking okay. very specific questions that are very hard to dodge. And it's very much like, okay. you can't attack, you like, can't get back at me to like counter my arguments because you're busy defending yourself. Okay. Okay. So the reason that you do this is because first time you put maneuver on somebody, you tag it for free. Uh, it gives you plus two to your roll. Mm. You also can pour fate points into it. So let's say you had, I don't know, four fate points, but you only had two relevant aspects. Mm -hmm. Then you can make whatever aspect you want. So you can put fade points into it easier. Okay. I'm just going to make an intimidation attack. So the last attack I can do right now is cornered. Yeah. So I'm going to try to make an intimidation attack. Well, first you need to roll against the uh, maneuver. Okay. Um, a rapport? Um, yeah. The first roll was the... Oh, rapport is negative one. All right. So, yeah, you get the aspect on you. Okay. okay so, so now I make... The intimidation attack. Um, Which is yeah. the one. Oh, that's or, wait, I oh, got shit. a positive one. Yeah. So, um, so you uh, have to defend against. I want to add. I just want to spend my last yeah. fate point to make that a three. Okay. Okay. I will roll we'll my wait defense. Wait until you see what his defense is, which is rapport. okay. One. All right. So yeah, you spend a fate point to make that a three. So he'll take two. Yep. So um, stress. I'll spend a fate point to make that uh, zero. Yeah. Do you have either of you have any fate points left? I have one. Okay. <laughs> Mostly because I've been it's invoking aspects this entire fucking time. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah. Make your next rolls, I guess. Um. So yeah. Uh. Attacking you again. This time with a plus two because of your aspect. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh my god. Three. Wow. That's not great. Really? Um. Okay. So, how long does his Aspect last. Or his maneuver last. He only gets one attack for it for free the next time. He, like, it ends okay. until you take it off, basically. Okay, so I want to you just defend him. this turn. Yeah, okay. So it gives me an extra plus two? No, you don't get bonus for the aspect. No, like, no, I mean, like, just defending, no attack. So I get <laughs> bonus for that, right? Oh, we'll just do a block instead. That's Unless what I mean. You prefer. Okay, so how does a block work then? So a block is you make a defense roll. And then you also get to make your normal defense roll. So you get two rolls. If to try you, and, okay. if you take to try and protect defense, yourself from the three damage. You only get one roll, but you get plus two to it. Okay, so that's zero first Would time. You second have time. Two rolls. Two, okay. so you take a stress. Uh, yeah, take a social stress. Okay. Uh, last time, I'm just going to try and hammer the point home. Like, no. <laughs> You're wrong, just all of it about okay, everything, so like, your entire life, essentially. Okay, so like um, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack as well. It's like make a break here. Ooh, oh, four. Okay. okay, two. All right, both of you give me defense rolls. Zero. All right. all right, so Axel will take four social stress. Yep, I take so zero. So like, what what happens when you like fill up a box? Do you like fall out, like pass out socially? Uh, basically, it means that you no longer can participate. Like, you've been completely like, socially outmaneuvered. Like, there's nothing you can possibly say. So, I only have average in this. Like, I'm not, like, very... Socially, I'm not great. It's just the fact that I'm so fucking stubborn and adamant that I am right. Like, so, there's wait, no backing my... me down from that. My question is more of, like, shouldn't he only get a plus one that time, since he already used his maneuver once? Right. So it should be a oh, two yeah, instead so of four, right? Two. It should be a two. Yeah. Oh, so that's still take stress, so it still takes a box. Because, yeah, you still take two stress. Okay. Okay. Are you still in it? I still, sorry, I, I still, just... I still lose, but I just wanted to make sure I understood. Yeah, you're, you're, you're right. You weren't supposed Talk to add plus two again unless you spend a fate point. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't see any pluses on that. If you hover over it, it says forty F plus one plus two. It's the earlier one. Yeah. No, the. the... Oh, oh, because uh, I thought the most we were talking about the most recent one. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll use the fate point to make that uh, the actual thing. That's fine. I'm at zero now. Okay. I mean, it doesn't really matter either way. It's it is oh, or it not. Doesn't... 
Okay. I just wanted to clarify if I understood it right. Yes, I'm sorry. Right. I fucked up. I thought it could apply it again. Yep. Okay. So, um, like, this could be, like, a conflict where I would give you a consequence for losing, but that doesn't seem fair. So we'll just say, like... I just wanted what we said. Like, I just wanted to be yeah, told what you... You just want more background information so on losing, my... T- losing a conflict means that the winner gets to narrate what happens. But okay. the loser, like, the, the winner cannot narrate the other person doing something. The loser gets to narrate what and how he does it. All right. So, essentially, this goes back and forth for a good, like, six or seven minutes. Where we're yeah. just going back and forth. Being, <laughs> essentially, what we are doing earlier, just more, like, adamant and convincing each other, less than, like, convincing ourselves of anything. Like, bumping ourselves up. I'm just very, I'm very much like, you, you, you keep calling this like I was manipulated, like these beings are greater than I, yet they need us, yet they need us to do their will, yet I have been given more power than I've ever dreamed of, and they get maybe some, something from me, maybe one day, maybe never. Something. Well... <laughs> You, on the other hand, have been manipulated, and you know it. That's why you're so scared of what they're doing with me. But here's the difference. We don't... You are scared, I am not. You were indoctrinated, I was led. I... You don't have to to do the speech thing. That's that. Yeah, I mean, Uh, like, you have to speak. I still disagree with it. I'm just pointing at you now. I'm just like... Yeah. So let's just hear what Axel has to say about his past like, with the dragon. Yeah, so like, um... Like, because I feel like you just have so to defend like, yourself at this point. Like, you're like, it, oh, no, okay, like I've given up on defending, like, this argument. Yeah. Like, I, I completely disagree with Let's you. Let's defend but, like, or explain, I guess. Yeah, at this point. that That's the wrong term, I'm sorry. But yeah, I, like, I explained, like, I was... I was sorry, raised in a colony, village, and somewhere in Eastern Eastern Germany ish, somewhere in like secluded area. Yep. And it was what? It was small, very secluded. And it started off what? Like 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 most of the people that were like young children didn't know and they didn't really care and it was like carefree for them because once you grow into it, then you're expected to serve the dragon in this case, doing whatever it needed. And at some point before I, like, served, I, I ran away. I, like, broke may, through. May I ask questions, like, about yeah. this I mean, like, if you have something specific, yes, go ahead. Like, I, I don't what, have, like... What did the dragon want from you specifically? Like, what were you supposed to do before you left? Oh, like, uh... Like, it depends on... It depends on the person. And, like, some of them were, like, servants. Some of them had to go, like, retrieve, like, like, uh, so he liked gold. So some of them had to go find gold or trinkets. It, like, it, it's very, very dragon. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, but it's still very dependent on the person and what he wanted out of them. Yeah. Do you have any idea, like, what they would have wanted from you? Like, from a pr- practitioner, even a small one? At the time, you've gotten stronger. Like, what I... Probably not. Like, I probably didn't know specifically what I wanted. I just, like, okay. eventually learned. Witnessed so enough things. Like, I knew I, I, did, I couldn't stay there any longer, and I found a way All to right. escape. So after that, she's just like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that another one is free. But I succeeded, by the way, in freeing uh, Cassandra. <laughs> um, Almost Good. died to Susan. But I conceded the fight and was like, nope, okay, we, we don't have to fight anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm just like, I'm sorry that another one is free. I'm sorry that this scares you. I'm sorry of what, what happened to you. But we are very different people in very different situations with very different gifts. I would like your help and I would like to be friends as much as I've been a pain, I assume, for the last day or so, as much as I've been upset with you freeing the vampire, now we are even at the very least. Oh, cameras, by the way. Um, 
I have no right to be mad at you, and you have no right to be mad at me at this point. Mm, like I would uh, like us to be friends, at least for Janice's sake. I like how we do this for mom's sake, quote unquote. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. I mean, do it for mom. I'll let you guys think <laughs> like, about it. Uh, yeah, like I'm not, I'm not to, leaving uh, or running away from this, but yeah. like I have nothing. No, you really don't have to. I'm not asking tonight. you to like admit you were wrong. That was that was my thing. Oh. If I lost, that's the big hit so, I mean, to my like, problem. Yeah, it's yeah. just. So, I mean, like, like yeah. After that, I like I head to bed after a com- conversation ends. Like I'm done. Peace. I'm out. I hurt. Good night. She sleeps on the couch. <laughs> yeah, that that that's your eternal place to All stay. Right. So let me. Like, oh, so they're they're still back in Axel's apartment. Oh, I, yeah, I left the party early <laughs> before Cassandra was laced and just headed home. It's like, fuck this, I'm out. I talked to Jan, I talked to Susan briefly. I, uh, like, I'm supposed to help, uh, make, uh, Thomas a full vampire. That was, like, my thing for the concession. Uh, so that's gonna be a thing I'm gonna have to do at some point. But, um, mostly it was, yeah, this has been what what's happened since you were gone. Okay. So Janice also, literally... Thomas has a week to decide whether or not he wants to become a vampire or not. Yeah, Janice was there, but I didn't have her say anything. Um, but so coming She's out of Never and Never, quietly. yeah, coming out of <laughs> Never and Never, like from rather far away. Uh, I said in Silicon Valley, so it's like an hour drive in a bus or limo back to uh, San Fran. Mm-hmm. Um, I assume like you guys are both going to the same place, like Thomas's apartment. Yeah, probably. Like, yeah, Thomas, do you have any like problems with Janice not being in the same car as you or something? Uh, n- no, I'd be glad to have Janice right. in the same car as me. So Janice, like, so like, just imagine you overheard a Susan like trying to explain to Thomas that uh, if if he gives into his his demon. And becomes a vampire, like it'll solve all his, like his confidence issues and his self, self doubt and, and worry and inability to succeed at anything. Um. So yeah, you overheard all of that, and now you're in a car with Thomas, and Thomas is like brooding on it. Janice, I, I, I have to kill someone in order to not be useless, in order to not kill people, I guess, because now I've now I've unleashed like two horrible things onto the world and <laughs> it's all my fault. What do I, what do I do? Okay, Janice muted? Okay. Yeah, she said she was muted. Is she muted herself? Like she went away or what? Uh, I think she's talking to someone oh, currently, okay. like in real life, because someone oh, showed okay. up. I see. Alright. Um, um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> I want to do something with Thomas. And... Yeah. Fallout 4 is ready to play. Awesome. Oh, she mm-hmm. and oh, she's restarting Skype. She couldn't hear us. Oh, I see. Okay. That's weird. Yeah. Let's restart the call for everybody. Okay. okay. Hello. Hey. Hey. Kelsey, can you hear us? I don't think she's back yet. Oh. You can see those, like, three dots. Yeah, it was, like, uh, her ear kind of blended in with the, like, right. thing. 
I, I have something I want to happen to Thomas when he gets. So, that. real quick before stuff starts, um, there is a, uh, there is a, um, she's restarting Skype probably, so she yeah. isn't back yet. Um, but there's a uh, Twitch worker uh, named God. That's his Twitch name, and I have him on Steam, and he just started playing Fallout Four. So I'm like, oh, <laughs> even God's a fan of Fallout. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm back, and I can hear everybody. Hooray. Nice. Bye. I don't think you heard what uh, Sacrilege said. So Sacrilege, you want to repeat what you said before? Yeah, it cut out right when you're like, you're not, you're, you're okay with her being in the same car or what, and then. I could see you guys talking, couldn't hear anything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sackler, do you want to go over what you said while you were she couldn't hear you? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I was pushing to mute when I meant to push to talk. It, I hate how <laughs> Skype does that. Yeah, no, um, so, anyway... Thomas, like, was sitting in the car and turned to you and basically said, um, I, she, I need, in order to not be useless, I need to kill someone, and I, I can't, can't kill someone, but if I don't kill someone, then I'm gonna, I unleashed a Black Corp vampire, and I didn't stop the dragon, and, and all these horrible things keep happening to the world, and I'm, and it's basically my fault. So what, and, what kind of configuration are we in this car, like? It's like a limo. So, like, we're in the back of, like, a limo or something? Sure, maybe so a there's, cross there, or whatever you guys want. Okay. Uh, there's, there's enough room for me to, like, re, look, neither one of us is driving, I guess, the big thing, so, right. like, um, I, I reach out. And I, I I take your hands and I just look you right in the face. So, Thomas, you're not useless. You don't need to kill someone to prove that you're not useless. And you free you managed to free that black court vampire. Whether it was the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do, you did that. You accomplished that. Now the moral ramifications they may be pretty heavy, but you don't have to kill someone to be of use. There's lots of things you can do. But, like, this might be the only way I can really learn about the world and make sure I don't do stuff like this in the future. Like, what if I just keep doing stuff like this like what if next week i don't know i rub a lamp or whatever and then i accidentally release a genie hitler i don't <laughs> oh hell genie hitler taking notes Woo. um you guys don't know how close you already came to that <laughs> <laughs> what's his all name right, shop um, he has so many genie hitlers on the shelves yeah they're just all of them right there um thomas if you're really that concerned, then learn. I I know some people they can they can clue you in. Heck, I, I probably should learn more myself. I only know a smattering. But just because <sighs> you don't have to be what your family wants you to be. That's not your only choice. You can still be involved and not be one of them. There are other choices. There are other paths. There has to be. But this demon's inside of me, and it it's going to wake up sometime. And You be in control of that. You can... You can tell it when to wake up, and now is not that time. Did he disconnect? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, right. never mind. You're still there. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is my camera screwing up? Yeah, don't worry about it. Yes. Okay. No, but... Anyway, Janice, I don't... I... 
told them I'll make my decision in a week. If I don't agree with them, I don't know what could happen to me. Like, I might die. I'm scared. I'll help you every way I can between now and then. The decision is ultimately yours. It seems to me that this is not a path you really want to choose, and they're forcing your hand. I'm going to find what we find out what I can to make sure that this is not the only choice. And if it is, and if it's what you want, then I'll stand by it as your friend. Um, Cynthia seems to know a lot. We can ask her if there's any other way I can go. And Sabir knows even more, and there's a few others. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk to some people over the week. That'll be good for me. Uh. Faces. Okay. Uh. I'll call Cecilia. She might know more as well. Alright. So, like, that's a good scene, I think. So you guys will get to Thomas's apartment, and you get up there, and there's like a SWAT.